It is better to be violent, if there is violence in our hearts, than to put on the cloak of nonviolence to cover impotence. You must not lose faith in humanity. Humanity is an ocean. If a few drops of the ocean are dirty, the ocean does not become dirty. A man is but the product of his thoughts, what he thinks, he becomes. The greatness of a nation can be judged by the way its animals are treated. First they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. You must be the change you wish to see in the world. Even if you are a minority of one, the truth is the truth. In prayer it is better to have a heart without words than words without a heart. There is a higher court than courts of justice and that is the court of conscience. It supersedes all other courts. You can chain me, you can torture me, you can even destroy this body, but you will never imprison my mind. A small body of determined spirits fired by an unquenchable faith in their mission can alter the course of history. The difference between what we do and what we are capable of doing would suffice to solve most of the world's problems. Honest disagreement is often a good sign of progress. There are people in the world so hungry that God cannot appear to them except in the form of bread. An error does not become truth by reason of multiplied propagation, nor does truth become error because nobody sees it. Let us all be brave enough to die the death of a martyr, but let no one lust for martyrdom. There is nothing that wastes the body like worry, and one who has any faith in God should be ashamed to worry about anything whatsoever. The human voice can never reach the distance that is covered by the still small voice of conscience. Truth is by nature self-evident. As soon as you remove the cobwebs of ignorance that surround it, it shines clear. Fear has its use but cowardice has none. Glory lies in the attempt to reach one's goal and not in reaching it.
Faith is not something to grasp, it is a state to grow into. Justice that love gives is a surrender, justice that law gives is a punishment. We may never be strong enough to be entirely nonviolent in thought, word, and deed. But we must keep nonviolence as our goal and make strong progress towards it. Before the throne of the Almighty, man will be judged not by his acts but by his intentions. For God alone reads our hearts. Rights that do not flow from duty well performed are not worth having. Spiritual relationships are far more precious than physical. Physical relationship divorced from spiritual is body without soul. I claim that the human mind or human society is not divided into watertight compartments called social, political, and religious. All act and react upon one another. A religion that takes no account of practical affairs and does not help to solve them is no religion. God cannot be realized through the intellect. Intellect can lead one to a certain extent and no further. It is a matter of faith and experience derived from that faith. Happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. Live as if you were to die tomorrow. Learn as if you were to live forever. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. An eye for an eye only ends up making the whole world blind. Where there is love there is life. A nation's culture resides in the hearts and in the soul of its people. The weak can never forgive. Forgiveness is the attribute of the strong. Strength does not come from physical capacity. It comes from an indomitable will. In a gentle way, you can shake the world. Satisfaction lies in the effort, not in the attainment, Full effort is full victory.
There is a sufficiency in the world for man's need but not for man's greed. There is more to life than increasing its speed. When I admire the wonders of a sunset or the beauty of the moon, my soul expands in the worship of the Creator. No culture can live if it attempts to be exclusive. Prayer is the key of the morning and the bolt of the evening. Nobody can hurt me without my permission. An ounce of practice is worth more than tons of preaching. Power is of two kinds. One is obtained by the fear of punishment and the other by acts of love. Power based on love is a thousand times more effective and permanent than the one derived from fear of punishment. The essence of all religions is one. Only their approaches are different. Non-cooperation with evil is as much a duty as is cooperation with good. Truth never damages a cause that is just. Peace is its own reward. I am prepared to die, but there is no cause for which I am prepared to kill. A coward is incapable of exhibiting love, it is the prerogative of the brave. Man's nature is not essentially evil. Brute nature has been known to yield to the influence of love. You must never despair of human nature. Action expresses priorities. If we are to teach real peace in this world, and if we are to carry on a real war against war, we shall have to begin with the children. Freedom is never dear at any price. It is the breath of life. What would a man not pay for living? It is the quality of our work which will please God and not the quantity. The good man is the friend of all living things. A no uttered from the deepest conviction is better than a yes merely uttered to please, or worse, to avoid trouble. Nonviolence is the greatest force at the disposal of mankind. It is mightier than the mightiest weapon of destruction devised by the ingenuity of man.
My religion is based on truth and nonviolence. Truth is my God. Nonviolence is the means of realizing Him. Morality is the basis of things and truth is the substance of all morality. Anger and intolerance are the enemies of correct understanding. The real ornament of a woman is her character, her purity. Those who say religion has nothing to do with politics do not know what religion is. If patience is worth anything, it must endure to the end of time. And a living faith will last in the midst of the blackest storm. I suppose leadership at one time meant muscles, but today it means getting along with people. To believe in something, and not to live it, is dishonest. We may stumble and fall but shall rise again. It should be enough if we did not run away from the battle. It has always been a mystery to me how men can feel themselves honored by the humiliation of their fellow beings. Whatever you do may seem insignificant to you, but it is most important that you do it. To give pleasure to a single heart by a single act is better than a thousand heads bowing in prayer. Action is no less necessary than thought to the instinctive tendencies of the human frame. Increase of material comforts, it may be generally laid down, does not in any way whatsoever conduce to moral growth. One's own religion is after all a matter between oneself and one's maker and no one else's. My religion teaches me that whenever there is distress which one cannot remove, one must fast and pray. Unwearied ceaseless effort is the price that must be paid for turning faith into a rich and fallible experience. Is it not enough to know the evil to shun it? If not, we should be sincere enough to admit that we love evil too well to give it up. For me every ruler is alien that defies public opinion. All the religions of the world, while they may differ in other respects, unitedly proclaim that nothing lives in this world but truth. If cooperation is a duty, I hold that non-cooperation also under certain conditions is equally a duty.
Measures must always in a progressive society be held superior to men, who are after all imperfect instruments, working for their fulfillment. Intolerance betrays the want of faith in one's cause. A principle is the expression of perfection, and as imperfect beings like us cannot practice perfection, we devise every moment limits of its compromise in practice. To deprive a man of his natural liberty and to deny him the ordinary amenities of life is worse than starving the body, it is starvation of the soul, the dweller in the body. Nonviolence is not a garment to be put on and off at will. Its seat is in the heart, and it must be an inseparable part of our being. Man is supposed to be the maker of his destiny. It is only partly true. He can make his destiny only in so far as he is allowed by the great power. I believe that a man is the strongest soldier for daring to die unarmed. Man lives freely only by his readiness to die, if need be, at the hands of his brother, never by killing him. I claim to be a simple individual liable to err like any other fellow mortal. I own, however, that I have humility enough to confess my errors and to retrace my steps. What is true of the individual will be tomorrow true of the whole nation if individuals will but refuse to lose heart and hope. Healthy discontent is the prelude to progress. I reject any religious doctrine that does not appeal to reason and is in conflict with morality. Confession of errors is like a broom which sweeps away the dirt and leaves the surface brighter and clearer. Nearly everything you do is of no importance, but it is important that you do it. Thank you for listening. We update regularly, so do subscribe to our channel and like the video.